Alright guys, tonight what I'm going to talk about <clears throat> is uh, making a 24 volt battery bank using the Nissan Leaf batteries. This is the way I like doing it. There's other ways of doing it. This is just how I like doing it. I like to run all of my all of my batteries that I'm using I like to run each bank in parallel so like here I got one two three four five six seven got seven batteries in parallel seven more in parallel seven more in parallel then I run them in series and when you run them in series you run like that so what you do is you're going to be using you're going to be using your ground off of this one and you'll be using the hot off of this one and the reason why I like using this ground here well actually I'll be using the ground right here and you'll be using the hot right here and the reason why is I like to like to use this one so it'll make the the flow flow through all the batteries because what you what you be doing is it has to flow through all of these batteries to get over to here then it has to flow through all of these batteries to get over here then the current has to flow all of these batteries to go out because current runs in a circle so you want it to flow through all the batteries and that helps it keeps the batteries equalized help everything stay equal so when you put all your batteries that you're going to have, say like if you got a whole Nissan Leaf battery bank. Whole, whole Nissan Leaf battery bank would be 48 modules. 48 this module. So you need three stacks. So you take 48 and divide it by three. And then that will give you how many batteries will be in the stack. This here is a drawing that I drawed out for one of my subscribers to help him um, get his system set up. And basically what you see in right here is exactly what I got right here other than mine is 48. So I got seven stacks, you will only have three. So you will go yours will go from here over to here. You'll have three of these. So what you're gonna have to do is build some bus bars. I like using the thick wall copper pipe. I get it at Home Depot, half inch copper water pipe. And make sure that it has the blue line on it. The blue line on the copper pipe means it's the thick wall. Get the thick wall blue copper pipe. Smash it down. Drill your holes. Make your bus bars. Then you're going to have to make these here to series them together. So you come off of this plus over here to this negative. Then you come off of this plus over here to this negative. And then you hook your your inverter over here to this positive, and you hook your ground to this negative here, and that's your whole 24 volt system. Now I put these in because these are the taps. Because in the Nissan Leaf battery, it's actually four different batteries inside, and you got you got two batteries. Two in parallel, two in parallel, then they series to two. Basically, what I done did here, but instead of it being three, is four inside of here. And this will be the positive on, on that other battery. So you will have negative, positive, and then, well, it's backwards. You have positive, negative, and then positive. And, and, and what you do is, the reason why I put this down here, this helps the battery stay equalized when you tie them all together, just like I do here. You tie that one all together, you tie this one, you tie this one. And um, basically, that's how I do mines. Uh, it's other ways of doing it, but this is the best way that I think to do it. Now, whether you want to do yours a different way, that's on you. But this is the drawing that I did. And basically, like I was saying, this right here is you putting your bus bars on and tying all of these batteries together. You're going to have 
um, two, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 batteries in each stack. Once you get your 16 batteries in each stack, you're going to make your bus bars to go all the way from this end to that end of this battery, all the way from this end to that end to this battery. Then you're going to make your crossbars here. This black one is the crossbar that brings the voltage. So every time you cross from this, this battery to that battery, you're raising the voltage up. So say like if this battery is 8, this battery is 8 and this battery is 8. When you uh, check the voltage here, from there to here, it's going to test. Let's do it. Let's do it so you can see. We're going to, I don't know if you can see that real good, but I'll tell you what it says. You got your ground right here. And when you test this one, you're going to have, Three point nine. Then you come over here. You're gonna have seven point nine. Then once you cross over here, well, you gotta cross over to here. You're gonna have twelve. Then you come over to here. You got sixteen. Then once you come over to here, you got nineteen point nine. And once you come over to here, now you got twenty three point nine. So. That's how you're going to do it. Every time you run one of these bars over to the next one, it's going to raise your voltage. When you run it over here, it's going to raise your voltage. So basically, that's how you do the 24 volt on the Nissan Leaf battery. And right here, like I just showed you, this is 24 volt. From right here over to there. These three here is 24 volts. And what you do is... You stack as many in parallel as you can to make three even stacks. So right now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in. I got seven in parallel. When you when you parallel, what you're doing is you raising your capacities like a gas tank. The more of these you got stacked up, the bigger gas tank you have. So you add more capacity to how much energy you can hold. And then when you start connecting them in series, series is from positive to negative. That, your, your, your capacity stay the same, which means your gas tank stay the same. But all of this is doing is, is raising the voltage of it. So it's, it's how much force is coming out of the battery. So... If you got eight, you don't have very much force. When you when you send it across here, you're going to have more force because you're going to have 16 volts coming out. If you come over here, you're going to have more volts because you're going to have 24 volts coming out. So that's the difference between parallel and running uh, in series. Other than that, that's, that's the whole thing. I will uh, go over this again with you. So you can understand, uh, like up here, I got wrote up here, fully charged, 25 volts. Do not charge batteries over 25 volts because you are damaging. Do not go over 130 amps when you're charging these batteries up. You don't want to charge them over 130 amps. Now, how many amps you putting in there is depending on how big of charge controller you have. You have to look in your manual and see what your charge controller it could be an 80 amp charge controller where it'll put 80 amps in there, but it, your charge controller only going to put as many amps in there as you have solar panels. So let's say if you got a 100 amp charge controller, but you only have 50 amps worth of solar panels, it's only going to put in what your solar panels are producing. If your solar panels is only producing uh 50 amps, then your 100 amp charge controller is not going to push, push 100 amps in there. Okay, and uh, your inverter, you got to have a fuse. You're going to have to fuse it at the battery as close to the battery as possible. You want a fuse so in case something happens, it's going to blow that fuse, kill that power coming out of the battery. Um, other than that, 
that's it. Like I said, you got to build bus bars, go from one end to the other. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six bus bars on the batteries. And then you're going to need two cross bus bars, one for here and one for here. And like I said, the reason why you want to hook up down here, your ground here and your positive here, like I got on here, is because it's just my thought could be wrong, but it makes the 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 current flow across all the batteries so the current will have to flow all the way across these it will have to go over it will have to flow all the way across these go over flow all the way across these and then out to your inverter and your charge controller so i i think that the, it helps the battery stay more in balance when you hook it up that way but other than that i'm going to call it a day and uh, I hope that helps you out. I hope this helps other people that needs to know how to wire these Nissan Leaf batteries up. Um, another thing that I found out on your inverter, your inverter um, shuts down. At least I think this is the same. I looked up the aims and looked up the number that you gave me. And uh, it said that the um, inverter shuts down at 20 volts. Um, these Nissan Leaf batteries is capable of going down as far as five volts per um, five volts per per module. So five, five, five. That's fifteen volts. So you can pretty much run all the way down to fifteen volts. That's the suggested cutoff. You're gonna be cutting off at twenty volts. So you're gonna be way, way in the safe as not damaging your batteries as far as if you leave your inverter on and the inverter run all the way down to where it completely shuts off it's going to completely shut off at 20 volts which is going to be more than enough time before it does damage to your batteries you'll be able to charge them up to 25 volts fully charged so your operating voltage is going to be from 20 to 24 um, other than that I think I ran over everything with you, and if anybody have any comments, leave it in the comment box at the below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.